In one of our earlier labs, we saw that we could not ping PC2 with PC1 because router 1 doesn't know how to get to PC2. It only knows how to get as far as R2. Even uh, later on, we saw that we couldn't even ping this. We can't even ping 192.168.22. Why? Because this router doesn't know how to return the ping. It doesn't know how to get to the one network, the 192.168.1 network. And so we have to tell these routers, I have to tell this router about this network, the three network, and I have to tell router two over here about the one network. All right, so let's go ahead and put in a static route. First thing I need to do is get into configuration mode. And now I'm going to uh, put in my IP route command. Let me move this. Uh, I need to move this where we can see that. Okay, actually, I'll move it where we can see the whole thing. Okay, IP route. And the first thing we're going to put in is the network we want to be able to reach, 192.168.30.3.0. I like that. Now, in order for it to know what network that is, it has to know a subnet mask. These are all slash 24s here. And so this is going to be a 255.255.255.0. We're not done yet though. Now we have to tell it, well, what interface does it need to go out of in order to get there? And the way that we tell it that is to tell it the next hop, which is right here, 192.168.22, so that it knows to send it out of this interface. All right, so let's put that in. 192.168.2.2. And that is the end of our command. This router should now know about this network and prove that let's do a show IP route and sure enough it now knows about the three network and it was a it was statically uh, entered I manually put it in here and it has an administrative distance of one all right that's not enough, though, because we need to be able to return traffic again. So let's do the same thing for this one for the one network. All right, so let's uh, get into config. Global config mode, config T. And then we need to tell it about IP route, the one zero network. IP route 192. Dot one six eight dot one dot zero two fifty five two fifty five two fifty five zero and we're not done yet we need to tell it what interface well that would be this interface one nine two one six eight two dot one so this interface right here where it enters this next router one nine two dot one six eight dot two dot one now let's do a show IP route And sure enough, there's our statically uh, configured route. Now we should be able to ping anywhere on here. So let's try that out. Let's ping over to 3.10. 192.168.3.10. Well, it appears nothing's happening. There it is. Now, what happened? Well, it took some time for everything to converge. There's a lot of other stuff that's going on. If we did it again now, we should get them all right away. And sure enough, we have four successful pings. We should be able to ping 2.2, .2, which we could not do earlier. Let's try that. Ping 192.168.2.2. And there's our four successful pings. We now have a running network.